What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Shumalier. And fans of the channel will know that I have a favorite NBA basketball team. Go Spurs, go. I have a favorite Major League Baseball team, the Texas Rangers. I have a favorite college football team to root for, Hook'em Horns. And while I don't have a favorite NFL football team, I do enjoy rooting against the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, my favorite team is whoever's playing the Cowboys that weekend. But when it comes to soccer, I'm not really that big of a fan. Sure, like most Hispanic kids growing up, I played soccer when I was a little kid, but I never really got into MLS. I guess when the World Cup is on, I root for the US women's team. But when it comes to men's, I was kind of interested when Spain and Portugal played the finals. They played in the finals, right? I think it was Spain or Portugal or both. I don't know, somebody correct me. But honestly, I'm just your normal, typical ignorant American who really doesn't truly understand nor appreciate the beautiful game. But much like people who don't understand things, I do like when things look good. And when I went to Paris and saw the Paris Saint Germain store and saw how Nike and Jordan brand incorporated the two logos that put them together, well, I decided that that would be my adopted team. So anything Paris Saint Germain, I'm a big fan because of the logo and because of the colors. Earlier this month, Nike released two silhouettes with the Paris Saint-Germain and Nike Air Jordan collaboration. And today we're going to talk about the Nike Air Jordan Zoom 92 Paris Saint-Germain. Featuring an official colorway of light graphite, neutral gray, black, and Bordeaux, this sneaker receives similar treatment as the Elder Air Jordan 4 PSG, also released at the same time. The shoe showcases a dark makeover consisting of dark black and gray mesh and suede, burgundy accents applied throughout on the Nike swoosh, tongue, and sock liner, which completes the soccer club's famous colors. The rest of the upper is muted, bereft of color. Dark gray shades coat the velvet-esque toe box, matching that of the midsole and taping, while lighter variations add marginal contrast to the ripstop at the mid panel, as well as the partially see-through synthetic below. Black tabs then mark with Paname in bold, a complement to the PSG emblem that accents on the heel atop black all the same. Not only did I have to look up how to pronounce Paname, apologies if I'm saying it incorrectly, I also had to look up what it meant. And according to that bastion of truth, Urban Dictionary, Paname is commonly used by the youth living in the Parisian suburbs who don't really want to say they live in the suburb. There are a lot of great touches on this shoe that I really enjoy. The aforementioned black Paname tab that hangs down. You have that burgundy Bordeaux swoosh on the lateral and medial side of the shoe. On the lateral side, you find that Zoom, Air, and Swoosh branding. And on the medial side of the shoe, you find the Jumpman, all in that Bordeaux burgundy color. That Jumpman is found in a glossy black on top of your mesh burgundy or Bordeaux tongue. And then on the back of the shoe, on what appears to be like a black patent leather, you have the Paris Saint Germain Jumpman logo in what feels like a nice rubber material and on top of the heel in a black nylon-like material, you have half of what looks like to be a fleur-de-lis in gold colorway, no doubt to match the Parisian aesthetic. Your laces are skinny flat black laces with just a little bit of waxiness to it to give it a little sheen, a little bit of weight, and your lace tips or aglets are a nice goldish color. And as mentioned on the outsole of the shoe, you have the Zoom branding, the Nike Air Swoosh branding, as well as the Jumpman logo in Bordeaux or burgundy color. The shoe feels kind of like a semi-luxurious shoe with the light gray suede material here on the toe box. You have black leather on the lateral and medial side of the shoe, kind of in the vamp area, which act a little bit like the lacing system. And then you move up to the top and you have a little bit more of a harder rubber material. It's, it's not so hard, it's just slightly harder. It does move around, also acting as the lacing system. When it comes to fit, I'm normally a size nine across the board. That's consistent across Air Force Ones, Jordan Ones, Nike Reacts, Adidas, Ultra Boost, Puma, etc. And I ordered that size nine in the shoe and I found that it fit my foot too tight. 
I have a normal size foot closer to a narrower size foot, definitely not wide. And I found that by removing the thin insole, it gave me just enough room to wiggle my toes in a way that I am accustomed to. I don't like a super locked down tight fit. I don't play basketball. I'm not going to wear these to play basketball. These are definitely more for casual and lifestyle. So if I had to do it all over again and I wanted to keep the insole in, I would definitely have gone up half a size to a nine and a half. As it is now, the nine fits pretty okay, especially with a long, thicker type sock because it is kind of fall-ish, very fake winter. If I was wearing a thin, no-show ankle sock, I still would need to take out the insole to give me that extra room. Again, my foot isn't wide, so if this is your first pair of Zoom 92s, try them on if you can, but honestly, I feel comfortable in saying you could or maybe should go up half a size unless you really liked that super tight, locked down fit. And when it comes to comfort, it's got zoom, it's got air, it's got all the normal technologies, and I think it fits fine. I wouldn't say that it is a squishy, bouncy, cotton candy-like shoe, like React or like Boost, but it's definitely not nearly as uncomfortable as just your standard EVA rubber midsole. The combinations of the air as well as the zoom is really comfortable. And if they manage to put a little react in there too, I don't know, it might be a super duper comfortable shoe. But as it is, it definitely fits more comfortable than the shoe might look. But again, it's not super, super cozy comfortable. The Nike Air Jordan Zoom 92 PSG released on October 10th, 2020 and retailed for 150 US American dollars. What do you folks think about this PSG Bordeaux burgundy shoe? Do you agree with me when it comes to fit? What about comfort? Do any of you like this shoe or silhouette out there? It's pretty much sitting. You can buy it for retail, maybe even grab it for a less than retail price on resale sites. I'm not really sure. I grabbed this through End Clothing and I know that this has been restocked a few times in the last few days. So if you really want the shoe, there is no reason why you can't run out and grab it for retail and maybe less if you do some clever hunting. Let us know in the comment section down below. And to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.